Hello, well, hello Sunny Hill. Hello. Uh, welcome to Friday's Take 5. We hope you've had a lovely Easter holiday week. Uh, we're on holiday as you can see. We're out and about again. We've moved from the south coast of Devon to the north coast of Cornwall. We haven't managed to take the sunshine with us. No, it's still, still grey <laughs> up above. But we're imbued um, and we're looking out over the beach behind our shoulders. Um, but we're in Hebrews 8 today. Yes, we're in Hebrews 8 um, towards the end of the week and Yesterday, if you remember, we were talking about uh, Melchizedek and mm. how he was a priest and a king. And what they had to do in Old Testament times was to confess their sins, they had to go to the priest to confess their sins. Um, and then further down, as you go down into Hebrews 8, it starts to talk about um, the superiority or how the new covenant, if you like, is better than the old covenant. And mm. in, in, in later on in Hebrews 8, we, we start to hear about the new covenant from an extract from Jeremiah. That's right. And we have to remember, this is Jeremiah, 400 mm. years previous, looking forward to this new covenant where our sins will be forgiven, where instead of having the law written on stone tablets, it will be written in our hearts. Uh, and Jeremiah talks about that. And this whole chapter really um, talks about how all the stuff in the Old Covenant, all the things, all the people, all the artifacts, they are copies or foreshadows of what was to come or is to come in New Testament or New Covenant times. And there's this brilliant picture of, of Moses almost having this conversation <laughs> with God. And God shows him what's going on in heaven and he says Moses take a really good look at this a really good look really good look and now make a copy of it for the earth and Moses I can imagine Moses standing there and going what I have to make this out of wood and skins and that's how we ended up with all Moses and the people ended up with the tabernacle it was a copy of what was going on in heaven and so much of the Old Testament um, if you dig a bit deeper into it, has this foreshadow element to it, where you can see examples, or types as they're sometimes called, of what is revealed to us in the New Testament, and what is going on in heaven, what heaven is like now, the person of Jesus Christ. There are so many Old Testament foreshadows, and this is what this chapter is talking about in part here. And of course, it leads to this brilliant climax where it talks about our sins. This is Jeremiah, as yeah, we said. Right our sins there. being forgiven yeah. because we have this great high priest called Jesus. Yeah, yeah and, it's, and it's wonderful because where Melchizedek was a king and a priest, Jesus is our king and our That's priest. Right. And, and we don't have to go to anybody now to confess our sins. We don't have to go to a man. We don't have to go and say, oh, I've done it wrong. We can go straight to Jesus. Mm. And then that takes me right back to this verse in Hebrews 4. Yeah. Right at the end of Hebrews 4, which says, Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Yeah, and we reflected on that earlier in the week. But it's great to remember that Jesus is the person we can go to, that we have free access to God through him. To the throne room of heaven that Moses caught that glimpse of and then tried to replicate on the earth but you wherever you are watching this this morning in your lounge in your bedroom if you're sat at work watching this in this moment you and I we have free access to the throne of grace so let's just pray as we close this week heavenly father thank you that Jesus gives us access to the throne room of heaven and we come to you boldly now with our prayers in our devotions with love for you, in Jesus' name. Amen. So as we close, um, just to say that Jeff and Barbara are taking yes. over from us doing the second half of Hebrews next week. We hope you've enjoyed this brief look into Hebrews and that you've drawn closer to our great high priest over this week. Have a wonderful weekend. See you soon. Yep, see you soon.